Today on Ballistic Barbecue, I'm going to be making Argentine street tacos. Let's get going. So basically what I'm doing in this video is I'm combining two things that I really love. I love Mexican food and I love the Argentine grilling culture. I love their food. So I'm combining the two of them into an amazing taco. We're going to kick this video off with a killer red chimichurri sauce. Now this footage was actually shot for SNS Grills and I'm going to also have a link for the video I shot for them. It was a tri-tip video. Anyway, here's the recipe. So we're going to kick this off with some Italian flat leaf parsley and a link to this entire recipe will be down in the description box fire roasted red bell pepper. Now, the way I like to fire roast these peppers is I put them on a, on a grate, like on a grill, and I like to use a torch. You can do this on a stove top, on an open burner. You can do it on a grill over charcoal, whatever. The cool kids like to use a flamethrower though. As soon as those peppers are blackened and blistered, I put them in a zip top plastic bag and allow them to sweat, and then check this out. Take the pepper out of the bag, obviously, a wad of paper towels, and then you just wipe the skin right off. I like to wear gloves, you know, just to keep my hands clean. And don't get too hung up on getting all the black charred bits off. A little of that in your salsa or your chimichurri adds a little bit more flavor and, and I think some character too. Once all this char was off, I basically just cut the peppers in half, removed that big clump of seeds and then chopped it up. And those peppers had escaped. Some chopped shallot, chopped garlic, some chopped red Fresno chilies. This is what a Fresno chili looks like. You can use any type of red hot pepper you want, you know, ripened jalapeno, uh, Thai chili. And this is up to whoever's making this as far as the heat level. I, I'm using two of these and I split them in half, removed the seeds and most of the seeds and the pith, and then just coarsely chopped it like that. Now at this stage, I'm just going to do a little bit of kind of chopping with my food processor before we start adding more ingredients. Now I'm going to add some fresh squeezed lemon juice. It's important to use fresh lemon juice for this recipe. Some red wine vinegar. I have here some crushed red dry chili flakes, some smoked paprika and some cumin powder. Just a little bit more blending up here. Now I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil and I'm adding the olive oil until it has the consistency I'm looking for. I'm going to add some kosher salt and some pepper to taste. what it looks like. It'll actually, once it kind of rests, it'll start looking redder. Now for the best results, I recommend that you make this at least four hours before you're going to serve. The day before is even better. And this stuff will hold in your refrigerator for a couple of weeks in, you know, like a jar. Just make sure you pull it out of the refrigerator and let it warm up because the oil is going to kind of solidify a little bit, you know, thicken up before you serve. But give this a try. This is so good. It's nice and tangy. That lemon is popping, a little bit of heat, a lot of herbaceousness. It's just the perfect sauce to cut through a nice, rich cut of beef. Oh, I'm, excited. I'm excited. The complete recipe will be down below in the description box. Let's get on with this recipe. 
So I'm going to be using skirt steak. This is about 1.3 pounds, plenty for a lot of tacos, believe me. What I'm going to do is slice this up into nice taco sized bits. Then we're going to get it in a marinade. So I'm going to cut it in half first. Like I said, this is going to make a lot of tacos. The grain pattern is going this way, and I'm just going to kind of cut it across the grain. Like I said, going for taco sized bits. Now I'm just going to cut all these slices in half. Gallon zip top bag here. Just going to get that meat in the bag. And here's that chimichurri, and I made this a couple nights ago. So good. This is going to be my marinade. Pour some of this, and I don't have to pour all of it in. I want to go ahead and knead this and see. Just want to make sure I get all the meat coated with the chimichurri. This chimichurri, this red chimichurri, I like it better than the green, and I gotta tell you, it goes with everything. I mean, it's just like the perfect condiment, in my opinion. Anyway, there we are. You want to let this marinate for at least two hours. Four is even better. You can do it the night before if you want. Definitely make the chimichurri sauce like the day before so all those amazing flavors come together. So in about two hours, I'll see you guys at the flat top. So in this video, I'm using the little Blackstone 22 inch uh, griddle. I have this side on. This side is just completely turned off. First thing I'm going to do is lay down a little, this is Wagyu beef tallow. Basically on this flat top, I want it to develop like a confit. So these tacos are gonna be very similar to a birria taco when they're finished. Get down some of that meat. In case I didn't mention it, the uh, burner here is on like a medium high, the medium high setting. Okay, this is looking good. Smells unbelievable. I'm gonna push this off to the side where the burner is turned off. And I'm gonna put down just a little bit of this chimichurri sauce here. Mix in some of that wagyu tallow. These are little street taco sized corn tortillas. Regular tortillas would work, flour tortillas would work if that's what you like. These are gonna be messy tacos and that's the way I want them. Like I said, it's gonna be very similar to a, a birria taco. Now the Argentinians, they love provolone cheese. They have a really popular dish they make called provoletta. I have here some thinly sliced provolone and I'm folding them in half. Just lay these on the grill. This tortilla is back in play here.
looking good. Let's eat. And here they are, all plated up, all boarded up, whatever you want to call this. And they just look amazing and it smells amazing. I mean, I'm smelling the corn tortillas and the, the beef with that beautiful chimichurri sauce kind of blooming. Let's give this a try. Now I have lime here. I don't really think it needs anything, but I'm going to put a little bit of lime on. Look at that. Mm. So good. Getting that crispy tortilla with that, again, I'm calling it a confit on there, that all the herbs and everything that were in that chimichurri is coming out along with that, just that really rich beef fat flavor, the melted provoletta, the beef. Oh. This is definitely achieving what I wanted. I mean, it's honoring both Mexico and Argentina, two countries whose foods I just, I love. Um, my fingers, ah. Grand slam, and with just a little pre-prep, it's literally a cook that takes a few minutes. <laughs> and I'm gonna say too, the lime is a good call. It definitely wakes everything up, makes it pop. Wow. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please do. I'll see you on the next video. Keep those suggestions coming in. Number three, cheers.